I've just finished planting another row of trees in this agroforestry system. This row of trees here is just by this fence because on the other side of the fence we walk to the barn, we want some shade. So these are quite tall trees. Planted these today, a few of them planted last month. Um, there's a tree every two meters mostly. So half of them are the trees I really want to have here and the other half are ones that might not grow so well, uh, but I would love to have them. So if they make it, I can choose which one I keep. Also between them are fast growing nitrogen fixing trees, which are good for fodder so I can chop them down, chuck them over the fence and feed them to the, the sheep. The sheep are currently in the field over there. A great resource for us. The sheep, they sleep in this barn, which we built this year, where they poo. We clean out their manure and uh, clean out the manure from the pig here. And then all of that goes to our chicken house on the other side of this agroforestry field, where all the chickens turn all the compost from all around the farm into a fine, a fine finished compost, which then comes back to these fields uh, when we plant the trees. So every tree has finished compost inside the hole and then age manure as mulch around and later on we'll put mulch, further mulch all around. We'll grow the mulch here so this pig uh, behind the row of apple trees is um, ploughing this section between two swales. So that's all pretty turned over now so when we move him we'll plant cover crops here, nitrogen fixing legumes and most of those will be cut and then put around these trees as mulch. So we have rows of fruit trees along swales. Swales are ditches on contour line. <coughs> it just catches the water and spreads it. So there's four rows of fruit trees and a nice big row of trees, uh, a row of big trees at the, the high fence there by the road. Again, put sh to help put shade on the, uh, on the road. So between all these trees, I'm next to put the grapevines. We've put some over there. But all of these will have grapevines in between. And the ones at the bottom and the top will have herbs and shrubs and flowers. And any grapevines that don't make it next year, I'll put in some, uh, some herbs or something just to add, add some variety. In this field, something similar has happened, except in the rows between the trees uh, we've got fava beans and we'll rotate those round for different crops each year. So this has a similar type of system, except there's a windbreak between very small, currently very small, but a windbreak between me and the other, the other side. Uh, reforestation field over there. This is a very wet field, which we haven't started planting yet. But. And further down our valley, we have um, different different types of uh, agroforestry examples. So we just keep trying different stuff, see what works, see what doesn't, we won't find out for a long time. So we, uh, on this row that I planted, we had a hazel grape planted, fig. I planted just now a polonia which I grew from seed, a neem tree which I grew from seed, River tamarind, mulberry, river tamarind. There's a few uh, chestnuts popping up everywhere. We chuck chestnut seeds in everywhere in this field, and some actually survive, but normally they grow uh, in shade of bigger chestnuts. Hackberry, chestnut, um, cherry, hazel, and a pecan. You see some trees are quite close together. These are apples, that's a crab apple, and then right here is a big pecan. But I don't know if the pecan will grow here. I've never seen one big, so I've put it in here. If it takes over, we'll work out what to do when it does. I'm sure the hazel will be fine underneath it. So that's what I did today. 
some quite interesting trees around the farm, I'm trying to collect as much as possible, much different things as possible. So thanks for watching, and thanks to everyone who's contributed, uh, helping buy trees, coming here to help plant, move compost, dig holes. Thanks to all the animals that's helping as well. That's a, a crying lamb due to its mother dying, died, and I feed it with a bottle, or well, me and my wife feed it with a bottle, so it sees me. It's my barn. Yeah, the lamb sees me, cries for a bit, and then get distracted by a bit of grass. I don't seem to be able to zoom in.